Well, hey, how's it going? Dr. Foskey back here with another video for you today. And what I'm going to talk about today are the items that I keep in my accessory pouch, in my case, for every gig that I play. Uh, this is something that is more, more practical. It's not really about art or music today. It's just about being prepared on the gig. Um, this is sort of a, a bag that I've developed through the years, and it's all based on experience, and most of them are based on bad experiences, where I was doing one thing, playing the gig, and then all of a sudden something breaks, and I need a replacement really quickly. Um, and so some people probably would consider this overkill. That's fine. It's important for me to feel comfortable on the gig. And so I am going to present you with the items that I keep in my bag. And you know, if there's something that I've missed the boat on, or you think I'm being completely ridiculous, um, you know, go ahead and fire off in the comments. That's fine. I'm happy to, to, to hear what you have to say. So let's go ahead and start. Um, one of the first things that's obviously really important to all players is having the lubricants that you need to keep your horn in top working condition. Starting with the slide lubricants, the hand slide lubricants, I keep two with me at all times. I'm a big fan of the Ultra Pure products, and this is the Trombone Slide Lube, the Alessi formula. Okay. Uh, the Yamaha stuff is also great, but I really like this. It seems to last a little longer, and I like it to last a little longer. I also keep a tube of Trombotine with me pretty much all the time. And here's why. If you're playing a gig and you get you smack your slide on something, you get a dent. Uh, the liquid slide lubes, in my opinion, don't work as well on a slide that has some damage. And I don't have my repair tech there to fix the slide right away, so I need to be able to play the show. I would much rather clean all the trombone teen off my slide later and have a slide that works pretty well than have to fuss with a messy slide or a slide that's messed up um, with lubricant that's not strong enough to sort of like cover for it. So I keep a tube of trombotine nearby. Like I said, I'm a fan of the Ultra Pure products. I use the Ultra Pure, Pure Tuning Slide Grease. I also use a lot of the Hetman products. Um, I like to keep either a light bearing and linkage oil, the ball joint oil, and then I actually have an old uh, bottle when they did the rotor oil in the, in, the, in the dropper bottle, and I just refill the dropper bottle. Um, I've had that for a long time. I keep those in my bag. I also keep them inside of a Ziploc inside my bag so that if they leak, you know, this bag is great until it's soaked in oil. It's not so great anymore. Um, that's it basically on lubricants. I will keep my spray bottle. Thank you, Nikki, at uh, extendabone.com for these awesome little spray bottles. And check out Extendabone if you are uh, vertically challenged in any way, short arms, short stature, want to be able to play 6th and 7th position, it's a great product. Uh, I like to keep a trombone snake, cleaning snake, in my bag. And now we're getting into the things that are a little more MacGyver-ish. And if you don't know who MacGyver is, I'm not going to explain it to you. Google it. He's important. He was really important in the 80s and had a killer mullet. Uh, so a few items that I keep that are of a little bit more um, repair-type nature, things that are important. I keep some Loctite super glue around. Not necessarily for anything repairing my horn, but if I have a mute cork that falls off or I've got a fussy spit valve cork um, or you know anything else that needs to be repaired that's not necessarily on my instrument, it's nice to just have a bottle of super glue around. I also keep some medicines around, um, either Advil or aspirin. And for me, if I eat a meal of Indian or Mexican food. I like to keep Imodium AD around. If you don't know what that's for, Google it. You'll be glad that you did, and you'll be glad to have it in your bag. I also like to keep um, replacement spit valve corks. If one goes out, it, it it's a bad day. And these aren't my, my favorite. These are the foam ones that are peel and stick. They're better than nothing, and in a pinch, you know, it works. I also like to keep uh, a few mute corks in the bag. These are from Ferry's Tools. They're already hollowed out to fit the contour of the, of the mute contact cement. Keep a couple of them in your bag. Grab the contact cement at the store if you're on a weekend gig in your hotel room. Take a knife and clean off all the other stuff. Glue these together. Put contact cement on the cork. Contact cement on the mute where you want to attach the cork. 
let them, you know, let both get t- dry until they t- they're, they're tacky. Put it on there. Take a rubber band, clamp it into place. You're good to go. I also like to keep a few silica pouches. These are like the ones that you accidentally almost eat when you open up a bag of beef jerky. Don't use the one from the jerky bag, but it's a great thing to keep in there. And I throw a couple in the case. Since I've started doing it, my case doesn't smell musty, so it's worth something. A few other items that I like to keep uh, that are more specialty for me. I use a flick button when I'm turning my pages with my iPad. I keep batteries for that in the package in the pouch. Allen wrenches and also jeweler's screwdrivers. I have a tiny, tiny, tiny one, a little bit larger one. I have an Allen key, and then I have a star drive, eight point star drive, little cobalt screwdriver here that uh, fits a bunch of different, um, bunch of different types and sizes of screws. Um, These are great, and it's in a pretty small self-contained little unit. Um, Yeah, those are basically the items that I like to keep. I, I do keep a COVID mask in the bag just in case i don't i don't tend to wear it now so much but you know what if you needed it a couple optional things that might help i keep a lacrosse ball nearby now the lacrosse ball is not for playing but it's for my back and my neck if i have a knot in my back i lay up against a wall i put this lacrosse ball that can't really be compressed it's not hollow it's solid rubber and so I'm a big boy, you know, this doesn't compress and it'll actually massage the knots out of my back. If you're playing a heavy show, sometimes you might have some of those things that, you know, some of those irritants that you need to address. And the lacrosse ball is something you can keep in your bag or in your case uh, and serves, you know, its own purpose there. So these are some of the things that I keep with me. I hope this is um, interesting to you. I hope it's helpful and you learn something. Um, Anything else that I missed that you think should be in the bag, put it in the comments below. Talk to you soon.